So hey you guys, it's your girl, the Empress 917, and I'm coming to you with another one. Okay, y'all look. It is March 1st. I am feeling wonderful today. Um I just feel good. I got a lot accomplished today. So you already know spirit is in the building. You know what? <clears throat> Let me just say this. Um I had no idea that in the spiritual community that we had people like, you know, I'm new to this on YouTube, um, being a YouTube reader, but I'm not used to uh, reading tarot. I've been doing it for a few years now. So it's like, I didn't know that people were gang stalking or whatever, whatever the case may be. Look. I don't even dibble and dabble in that information. It just popped up on my screen last night. And I'm seeing the tower. I seen the tower card just a few minutes ago. But it just popped up in my dream. Not not my dreams. And on my screen last night. And I was like, what is gang stalking? And, and so I got into this big hole in our deal. I'm not, I'm not going to say the person's name. I'm not going to none of that. Because I don't want any of that on this channel. But... Y'all, yeah. I mean, all I can do is say I'm just going to keep my stuff very pure, very spiritual, all of the rest of that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not in competition with anyone. And, you know, this is a spiritual community. So if we having problems in the spiritual community, we got problems. But... I do understand why people are doing videos about certain people because they, they are really trying to, you know, clear their name. But, you know, I just wouldn't give it so much energy because that's what feeds whatever that's bothering you, energy. So, anyway, um, <laughs> you all, this is a March reading. I'm going to get off of that because I just felt a lot of stuff when I saw that. I just felt a lot of stuff. Even when I clicked, I, I, I used to watch this certain person. But when I clicked on the video, I didn't even know this was going on with this person. I just felt like her spirit wasn't right. And so I was like, something about this, I need to stop watching. Um, I got to two videos and it was like cutthroat. I can't do it anymore. Um even subscribe to this person but I unsubscribe quickly because I just didn't feel right you know I'm not going to speak on who name it is or whatever but I just didn't feel right but anyway I'm going to go ahead and go on into this reading for March and when you don't feel right about something your spirit guides will let you know okay um, yes the energy for March the first two weeks energy for March um, we're going to do the Twin Flame Connection Energy for March. Somebody is passionate um, and they're they're being secretive too. Okay, let's see. Energies for March, please and thank you, Spirit. You already know Spirit is in the building. We rebuke anything that is not of good spirit. We already know that we are on it spiritually and we love God. Okay, so yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, somebody is manifesting something. Ooh, okay, look. Wait a minute, y'all. <sighs> All right, so. As I said, nothing bad can come in here. My car is just flipped everywhere. So, I rebuke it. Anyway. I rebuke it through the name of God. I rebuke it. All right. So, my twin flames. Here we go. I do see somebody that is manif trying to manifest a new beginning or manifesting things that that they want to come into fruition, okay? This could also be black magic, but I don't see it as black magic because it's not like this, but there is some type of magic that a twin flame is using. Um, maybe, it may even be just manifesting, just pure manifesting, okay? Um, 
yeah, because they're they're manifesting things to come in for them. They're manifesting um, change. Um, they're manifesting bringing things in. You know, bringing a, a newness to themselves waiting on their ships to come in in this twin flame connection okay yes and somebody's also manifesting that they come in with the truth okay that they can come in with the truth and have a new beginning with you let's see twin flames for March first first week first two weeks of March yes because somebody is living Somebody is manifesting because they're at lost in regret right now. They feel like they lost you. They're regretting it. They're in a lot of pain. Um, yeah. This is your soulmate, Twin Flame. Uh, yeah, this person is waiting on ships to come in so they can possibly give you something. Um, they want to show you that they are not who they were to you previously. That's what I'm seeing. Um... Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> what they're doing is that they're trying to manifest they're trying to manifest the truth around them so they can go ahead and cut somebody off. Okay, they're trying to manifest so they can go ahead and cut somebody off. As the sun comes out, very bright on me when I say this. Yes, somebody is probably trying to communicate with you online, uh, fast communication all day communication is what I heard um let's see yeah that because they want to rebirth with you they want to start all over new they want to show you that they can be the sun that they can give you what you need and you can be there for them and they can be there for you this is this is what I'm seeing from a twin flame yes because they see you as the queen of wands you're very spiritual you're in your you're powerful you're in your power you know who you are you're very um, driven intellectually smart so this person is, is, is ready to cut somebody else off so they can be with you that's what I see. They're manifesting this now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because right now they feel like they can't move on, though. They want to move on, but they can't move on. And they're trying to figure out, you know, why am I so stuck? Yes, this person may um, be well-established. Um, very. They're, they're having a rebirth, actually, to being very established. This is your soulmate. This person's having a rebirth. They want to be the king of pentacles. And that's what's going on right now. They're waiting for ships to come in because that money, um, the things that they need to obtain so you all can have a good life, that's what they're waiting on right now. That's why they're feeling like they're stuck, okay? So somebody may not have enough funds right now. Yeah, but they do know that once everything comes together, they're going to start fighting for their queen the queen they're going to start fighting for her they're going to stand up and, and start fighting as soon as their stuff come in okay let's see yeah because this is somebody who put you in a third party situation but they understand now that their happiness was with you mm -hmm. they understand that right now they're understanding that there is no happiness without you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, there is no happiness. This person is going through anxiety, stress, pain. They really want to be with you. They really want to be with you. They can't sleep at night. You probably can't sleep because you're getting their energy as well. Okay. And they can't sleep at night because they're thinking about all the good times that you all had and how happy that you made them feel. And they're not getting that in the third party situation that they're in now. Okay. And so, and, and two, they're thinking about how they were in and out of your life, sleeping with other people, doing uh, malicious things. Um, and they're also, they can't, they can't, it, it, it's like, it's bothering them that they did you like that. And they're like, I did the wrong person the wrong way. And so and possibly they're they're bothered because the person that they're with is sleeping around too okay show me yeah and this just makes this person want to come in and, and tell you all kinds of truths about themselves they want to come in because they know that they have these emotions for you now um they're thinking about coming in they're thinking about rushing in okay 
Yeah, because they want to give you justice and they're going to get justice from the relationship that they're in right now. They're going to get justice because um, you are the twin flame. You got the court card. They want to marry you. This person wants to marry you. They want to give you a happily ever after life. And I believe they're going to do that when their ships come in. I believe they're going to do that. They're going to dump this threesome, threesome, third party. They're going to dump it. Yeah. Yeah, they're putting an end into all of the options and choices because you are the option. You are the choice and they're ready to work hard on the situation that they ended with you. Do you see what I'm saying? What's going on is that they put an end into options and choices, illusions, dreams, all of this fantasy world that they were in. Okay. And now they want to, they want to work hard for the ending that they gave you. They put you at an ending, but they want to work hard for it. They want to work hard for it right now. And as you can see, she's working on that money. So this person is working on funds. Something happened in this relationship where the funds were taken and this person is wait, working on these funds. Yeah, like I said, they're ready to show you this love now. They're ready to come on in with it. They're ready. This person said, I cannot take it anymore. My cup is overflowing. Because I love this person. This person that loves me the same, okay? Show me spirit, what else? Yeah, but right now they, they're, they're stuck and they're thinking about how they're going to make this shift and change. They're thinking, they're going through all type of perspectives that's going on within their head. They're trying to figure out how they're going to make this change. But nevertheless, they are going to step out there and take the leap of faith and end this cycle that they're going through right now. They're going to end this cycle, okay? Because they have the strength to do so. They have the strength to do so. Yeah. Ending. Ending to what? What are we ending to? What is there ending to? To a commitment that they're in now. A marriage, a long-term situ situation or something that they're in right now. They're going to end that and they're going to transform their life. Yeah. You see how this woman is stuck on this tower? She about to get cut. And you see how he jumping out the window free? That's what's going on right now because the emperor has found himself now. Okay? The emperor said that he wants the, the lover and the choice of his dreams. Yeah. He's finally ready to grab her hand. Look, he's trying to grab her hand. He's looking that way. And she's looking up at the angel because she already knew what was going on. Yeah. This person here, your wish fulfillment to this person, okay? And they want a new stable beginning with you. And they want to balance things out. And they're about to leave some people out in the cold is what I said, okay? <laughs> All right. Let's, let me see if I can get a couple oracle messages. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my cards together. Hold on one second. Okay. So, we're going to go into the Romance Angels oracle cards. All right, let's see what your counterpart has to say because it looks like your counterpart is divine now. They have stepped into their power. They have stepped into their strength. They know who they are now. They know what they want. They just have to uh, prepare. They're preparing right now is what I'm seeing, okay? They're preparing. Show me, spirit. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations and type. So this person here took you through the ringer. You didn't think that the man that you would love would take you through the ringer, but they did. Yeah. And see, right now, <clears throat> while he's with that person, it's somebody that's going through co codependency right now because they are having financial issues. And see, it's causing them to deal with a lot of deception that's going on around them, which is the relationship that they're in. I don't feel like this person is going to be deceptive to you. I feel like this person has a nada, a nada, a lot of passion for you, okay? It says, allow your heart to sing and soul to sing with joy and new love, okay? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, you're like, a, you woke this person up. Now they're woke and they're like, dang. I feel like I'm in love all over again. I love this person, 444, as I say that. I love this person, but 
I didn't know that this was the love of my life. And so this new love is about to happen right now. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So this person is letting go of their control issues and trying to control how the outcome comes. They chose another person thinking that they were going to be better or better suit for them. It didn't happen. What happened was they, they, they had a lot of deception going on with them and codependency. So just because the karmic was meeting that person on that same level, that's why they started dealing with that person. Okay. But guess what? Stay optimistic. There is a wedding coming, you guys. Somebody is about to come to you and they're about to flirt with you. Your person is about to flirt with you and they, they intend on marrying you. This situation leads to marriage, okay? All right, you guys, that's all I have for you. I love you. Bye, collective.